How are we doing everybody and welcome back to The Catalyst where we break down all things bullish in the crypto markets. Today we had some news from the feds. This is the United States uh, feds here. They are going to double the taper rate going from 15 billion to 30 billion monthly. Uh, and then they are also eyeing three possible interest rate hikes in 2022. So this decision came today. Moments after this decision, the crypto market responded uh, pretty quickly, and we saw some massive gains uh, across the board from Bitcoin to Ethereum, um, and you can kind of see that's where this candle is. We actually started out red most of the day, uh, and then we went completely bullish. We tested a little bit of the uh, EMA here, <clears throat> and now we're starting into the next day, uh, kind of settling back down a little bit. Ethereum another giant green candle you see we went as low as 3600 today and up as high as 41 so that is like an insane swing in a single day uh not not necessarily for crypto but in general you know 11 percent swing so if you caught the bottom on this and sold the top you could have had 11 percent gains in literally 15 minutes like it was it was wild matic massive massive candle here as well um 20 percent swing there uh and we actually again tested this resistance once more uh so we'll see kind of where that goes uh, but ultimately i kind of want to talk about what some of this stuff might mean for crypto in general so typically with tapering and with you know inflation rates and all the stuff that like all this fud and all this stuff that's going on um oftentimes people will you know convert some of their assets or their money or whatever into some safer less volatile things things less subject um to be impacted by inflation and, and stuff like that uh and typically crypto would be considered a high risk asset um and by typically i mean years before 2020 uh or you know even 2021 it could have before 2021 it could have been considered a high risk asset for some people um i think this is going to be different this time and the reason for that is the fact that you know in 2018 i believe is when we did some tapering in the past um crypto was not an accepted currency by any country um crypto was not widely accepted by you know having banks getting some interest in them um uh, it wasn't you know globally accepted as it is now um and i think that's what's different this time is actually crypto is potentially the answer to these issues we're seeing with the tapering with inflation rates uh with all of that stuff um and i think people noticed that and once they got kind of the green light like oh this is not going to be great for the us dollar um potentially this is potentially not great for you know the general economy the stock market did surge a bit after that big tech went a little off um so it'll be interesting to see how people respond socially uh, as well as just in general like what this means for crypto and i think this time might be different i don't think people are afraid of crypto as a volatile asset anymore um or in the sense of like it being like some fake thing or you know uh internet money you know what i mean people know it's real of, of course there's still some volatility with it uh, but we have so much more backing by it so much more adoption uh, that i don't see it impacting us uh, in the same way this would have in 2017 or especially 2013 um, so let's take a look here actually the rsi we are seeing a bit of a breakout of some resistance here so you see this kind of downward trend that we've seen over the last uh, month and a half or so uh, since October, since we peaked out up here, uh, we have been kind of hitting our heads here on the RSI. Uh, we've actually broken out of that. So what we want to see is a little confirmation here, um, you know, to either test it once more or even break this other previous one, right? This one also had quite a bit of resistance. It was broken out back here. We tested it as some support here as well uh, and then came back here up to make our all-time high which was this point here on the rsi uh, so now hopefully we can flip that back into some support and bounce off that and continue to roll up somewhere up in here uh, this whole thing with the tapering of the feds could be uh, quite the saving grace for crypto um, 
and just the asset class in general um people are potentially going to be buying more crypto uh with concerns of inflation and interest rates and everything like that so it'll be really interesting to see how people respond to this um but ultimately i think this is a good thing i think crypto is in a good position to manage this uh and crypto also kind of runs in tandem with big tech and stuff anyway so as those things you know continue to take off uh crypto does a good job of kind of lining up nicely uh and performing well alongside them so we will see what happens here guys um let me know what you guys think about the tapering event and you know all this stuff with the feds and everything like that and how you think it might impact uh crypto as well otherwise we'll catch you guys on the next one thanks for watching peace